I'm not gonna lie. Speech on. Stop recording. Yeah. Speech off. I'm not gonna lie. I've tried recording this three times. Okay, two times. This is the third time attempting it. Yesterday, it was great. Uh, everyone kept interrupting me. It was really funny. And, uh, but it didn't save. This time, I got about a third of the way through it. My aunt watched in. And then my freaking cousin wanted to call me from prison. <laughs> okay, that came out weird, but it's the truth. Uh, like, when you're in prison, you can, like, call some, like, call outside the jail. And my cousin... Yeah, yeah, they know how prison to... calls work. Hmm? They know go back to, go back to sleep. Work. No one's gonna watch this anyway, so I don't even know why you're explaining it. Why are you explaining it? Anyway, welcome back to another NBA video, and we're going to be discussing the best player who should be for every single team since the NBA season starts tonight, and by the end of it, hopefully I'm going to be 100% correct on the best player, because I'm always correct at everything. Anyway, so for the Bucks, we have Giannis Adetokounmpo, the Greek freak, the two-time MVP, and defensive player of the year, first team all NBA and first team all defense. Now, I mean, he's only 26, and I think he's going to just crush everyone and lead the. What in the flip? Hello? No, I'm not talking to Cleveland Fields. Who's Cleveland Fields? I'm trying to record YouTube videos here, not talk to inmates. Anyway, they interrupted my last video. They're not interrupting this one. I'm making it through this time. Nuts is Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics. With Gordon Hayward being gone and Kemba Walker being injured and can't be really examined until January, that just leaves Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart and... Jason Tatum and Jason Tatum is going to just destroy the Eastern Conference and be the like the best player or one of the best. He's so good. Okay, next is Jimmy Butler at the Miami Heat, and you could make a case for Bam Adebayo, and I think Tyler Hill is going to be really good. But until proven otherwise, Jimmy Butler is who I'm going with for being the best player. Next, Kevin Durant is back, and I want to say better than ever since like. Your Achilles injury. I mean, I don't know how much better you can be, but uh, Kevin Durant is back at least. <laughs> Playing with Kyrie Irving and DeAndre Jordan. I think I called him Devontae Jordan yesterday. Um, but he's the best player from what we've seen in preseason. He looks like he's going to be okay, I guess. The Nets, people are saying they're going to be the second seed, the third. I think I had them at the, 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 the fourth. Or something. I don't even know, but the Nets should be good. Nets Kyle Lowry on a very weak Raptors team is the best player. I mean, Sergi Baca gone, Marcus Smart's gone, uh, Ka Kawhi Leonard's been gone for two years, and I just read like Pascal Siakam, OG Ananobi, Aaron Baines, and Norman Powell, and Kyle Lowry, of course. So, Kyle Lowry, I've been going with it, the best player on the Raptors. Next is Ben Simmons on the 76 series. I think he's better than Joel Embiid. And uh, I think the 76 are going to finish at the like, sixth seed. I mean, they're going to be really good. Next, Bradley Beal is the best player on the Wizards. Even though I love Russell Westbrook, Bradley Beal is the man. And uh, he's just been balling out for the past two years while John Wall has been injured. And uh, Bradley Beal. Next, we have Ice Trey Young on the Atlanta Hawks. It's going to be their best player. They got some good pieces, and they're going to look very, very good with Trey Young leading them. Gordon Hayward, obviously the best player on the Hornets. I mean, I think I'm going to pick Big Mac Biombo or Cody Zeller, PJ Washington. Lamelo Ball hasn't even played a game yet. I mean, like... Nah, these guys are bad. <laughs> really bad. But Gordon Haywood going to be somewhat good <laughs> on a bad, god, bad dang team. Oh my god, the Hornets are so bad. But I had them going ahead of the Pacers, who I have TJ Warren as being the best player. Uh, Victor Oladipo might get traded, might be a Pacers lifer. 
he, uh, I don't even know. He might grow wind and fly away with an injury. I don't even know anymore. TJ Warren looked good with my five games in the bubble, so uh, I, ha I have no clue who to put down for this Pacers spot. Similarly for this Magic pick. It was supposed to be uh, Mo Bamba. It was supposed to look good. Maybe Marquez, Markel Fultz actually breaks on and turns into an NBA player. Uh, Cole Anthony hadn't played a game yet. And uh, Austin Rivers. You want me to go with Austin Rivers now? No, nah, Aaron Gordon. Until proven otherwise, John Isaac is injured or he'd be here. But I think it's going to be Cole Anthony. But since he hadn't played a game yet, I'm going with Aaron Gordon. Blake Griffin is the next player, and I think he's the best player on the piston. Jeremy Grant could be a nice second option. Killian Hayes looks like he's going to be good. Derrick Rose is always a good choice from Chicago. Yeah, here in Illinois, we produce the best NBA players. I mean, Anthony Davis. Uh, what's your face? Uh, Derrick Rose. Ever people. I forget I, I, Illinois born people. Next, we have Andre Drummond of the Cavaliers. It could be Colin Sexton. It could be Kevin Love, but he's old. Isaac Okoro, I think, is going to be great. But uh, Andre Drummond, since he's actually played a game, and Isaac Okoro has not played a professional NBA game yet, just preseason. Next, we got Zach Levine of the Bulls. Wendell Carter Jr., that would be a joke. Larry Markman. Uh, Kobe White. <laughs> nah, Jack Levine. And then we have RJ Barrett on the Knicks, who is a more all forward team than the Bulls. Yes, the Knicks are a more all forward team than the Bulls. I'm sticking with that statement. RJ Barrett. Who else is on this Knicks team? The Knicks are god awful. I haven't finished at the bottom of the East. Over to the West, we got LeBron James. Oh god, that was that was popular back when I was in fifth grade and eleven. So uh, what? That's six. Two thousand fourteen. Yeah, that was popular back in two thousand fourteen. People. <laughs> LeBron James. Yeah, that pop. That was popular. Then. Along with like the twenty one stuff, but anyway, LeBron James obviously the best player on the Lakers. Anthony Davis, if he was on any other team, he'd be the best. But it's LeBron James on the Lakers. So I mean, who else? Contagious Caldwell Pope. God no. <laughs> Nikola Jokic is the best player on the Nuggets. Michael Porter Jr. I think is going to be really good this season. But it's Nikola Jokic, the best center in the NBA. We got Kawhi Leonard of the. Uh, Los Angeles Clippers. Luka Doncic is obviously the best player on the Mavericks. I think he's going to win MVP. Luka is doing Luka things and just killing the game. Uh, okay, James Harden, the best player on the Rocket. Even though, how much longer is he going to be there? I mean, John Wall coming back from an injury. DeMarcus Cousins, like, 100 years old. Christian Woods looked good for, like, five games and then signed with the Rocket. And uh, what's his name? P.J. Tucker. I actually remember the name of that. P.J. Tucker is also there too, but James Harden is obviously the best player. Is he going to play his best and just want to get traded or all that drama? Next, we have Donovan Mitchell of the Jazz. And then one of my favorite players is Donnie Mitchell. Donnie Mitch. No one called him Donnie Mitchell. Oh, that was why did I even do that. Donnie Mitch. <laughs> I feel ashamed of myself, Donnie Mitch. <laughs> oh God! Anyway, Donovan Mitchell is the best. Should have won Rookie of the Year in twenty seventeen. Should have been seven, but he didn't. Damian Lillard, my current favorite player on the Trailblazers. He is the best. He's the goat. He's everything. Dane Logo Lillard can't be stopped. I think that sounded cool. Next, we have John Morant of the Memphis Grizzlies, Rookie of the Year recipient, and. uh Hopefully his sophomore season can be as good as his, his rookie one. Devin Booker, best player on the Suns. Shout out to Chris Paul, because Chris Paul is amazing. DeAndre Aiden, they're good. Steph Curry, best player on the Warriors. Draymond Green needs to actually play like a basketball player, not like he's playing pickup at the YMCA. And the Warriors can actually be somewhat successful this year. And Klay Thompson's out. James Wiseman coming in. 
it's going to be real interesting. Brandon Ingram, best player on the Pelicans. I actually like Brandon Ingram. He's uh, not underrated since he won most improved last year, but I feel like not a huge fan base, and I'm part of that Brandon Ingram fan base, if that makes sense. I'm also a fan of Shea Gilgis Alexander, who is the best player on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Yeah, the Thunder aren't going to be too good this year, because Chris Paul left, and you traded Dennis Schroeder, and you got and you got in return uh, Al Horford. But you have, like, 19 first-round picks, so you can do something with that in the next five years. Next, we have De'Aaron Fox, the best player on the Kings, and when... De'Aaron Fox at the back behind the king. You need help. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. He, he's better than R.J. Barrett, at least on the Knicks. So, uh, he's better than Aaron Gordon. He's better than T.J. Warren. They're just in different conferences, but De'Aaron Fox is better than both players. And, I mean, George Hill, Buddy Heald, one of those two. I forget. It's Buddy Heald, the one on the Kings, right? Yeah. That's his name. Second to last, Carl Anthony Towns is the best player on the Minnesota Timberwolves. With the first pick, Anthony Edwards coming into this system. Uh, Anthony Edwards. You also have D'Angelo Russell. Is Ricky Rubio still there? Because I feel like they treat him every single day of the week. I mean, I don't even know where he is anymore. And finally, we have LaMarcus Aldridge of the Spurs. I like LaMarcus. He's better than DeMar DeRozan, and the Spurs are going to be god-awful this year. Sad to say, because uh, the, the Spurs used to be a juggernaut with Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Monty Ginobili, David Robinson. Why am I just naming old Spurs players now? Anyway, um, that's my prediction. Who's going to be the best? Again, not taking rookies into this, or I've had Cole Anthony for the Magic. Uh, I, yeah, I would have Isaac Okoro for the Cavaliers. I think those are the only rookies that would really have overtaken it, because looking at the top pits, I mean, Carl Anthony Town better than Anthony Edwards, and then Steph Curry better than James Wiseman of the Warriors, and then... Gordon Hayward is better than Lamelo Ball. Kill uh, Blake Griffin better than Killian Hayes. And then I talked about Isaac Cora five. I forget who sits seven and eight. Poker Poker somewhere in there. Uh, and then Cole Anthony at fifteen. Denny at nine. Denny is not better than Bradley Beal, but Cole Anthony is better than Marco Fultz and, and uh, Aaron Gordon on the Magic. So uh, should be a real interesting season. Really, really interesting. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, bye. Please tell me this, this say you didn't record it this time. Speech up, close. Yeah, button. I know. Low battery, thanks. Viewfinder. Stop recording video. Button. And just my I watched all this recording. Bye. <laughs> Speech Matt. Speed viewfinder. Stop recording video.